700,000 Americans. Tomorrow, they could be fired from their job. They won't be fired because they're late, and they won't be fired because they failed at their job. Tomorrow, they could be fired because of how they choose to identify. 700,000 Americans could lose their job tomorrow simply because they identify as transgender. When I heard this, I was shocked. And it led me to ask this question. Why is there no legislation that prohibits employment discrimination for those who identify as transgender? For my master's paper, I conducted a historical content analysis of the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, a proposed bill which would have prohibited employment discrimination based upon gender identity and sexual orientation. This was first proposed to Congress in 1994 and has been reintroduced multiple times in the 20 years since. However, it has still failed to be enacted. For my research, I examined congressional records, congressional hearings, and committee reports to help uncover why this bill continued to fail. While I'm still in the analysis phase of my project, I do have some preliminary findings. Despite witnesses telling honest stories of discrimination or CEOs of Fortune 500 companies discussing how successful their in, uh, inclusion policies have been, politicians still choose to uh, rely on stereotypical facts about the transgender community. Unsupported claims that transgender folks are immoral have proved to be more persuasive for these politicians than those honest stories of discrimination and the stories of success from those CEOs. I think that this uh, research will help the LGBT community. It aims to identify the discrimination that this marginalized community has faced, and also to bring attention to how our politicians have actually worked to keep this anti-discriminatory legislation from passing. In America, we believe in liberty. In America, we believe in freedom. We believe in rights for all people. So now is the time that we work to end discrimination and provide these rights to all members of our magnificent nation. Thank you.